everyone, so you're probably just as shocked as I am to actually see me vlogging, but I've always wanted to do daily vlogs, some kind of, you know, follow me around type vlogs, and I thought what better time to start it than December the 1st and Vlogmas. So when it comes to Vlogmas videos, they are definitely my favourite type of thing to watch throughout December, and I get just slightly addicted to them, um, so hopefully you'll enjoy watching my Vlogmas. And I'm going to do it slightly differently, I'm going to do it in four parts instead of a daily video, just because I think my life isn't too exciting to watch. I don't think I'd have 10 minutes worth of, you know, things to show you every single day. So I'm going to film the highlights. I'll still be filming daily. I'll just be uploading it into one big video at the end of each week for you. So today, as it is December the 1st, I've just got home from work and I think Darren has finally, finally decided that we can go and get our tree. Now, if it were my decision, I would have put it up on the 1st of November. I just love having a Christmas tree up. I think it's just the nicest thing. Having those fairy lights on all day is just really, really pretty. But no, we had to wait until December, which is fair enough, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and get one today, and then hopefully we should be decorating it tonight. to go to bed and I just remembered that I haven't opened my advent calendar today. I've actually got a body shop on this year which is amazing, it's absolutely huge and this is 24 days of joy and I think they've got all sorts of like beauty bits in here, a few makeup things. So where is number one? Oh there it is, let's see what's inside. So this is strawberry shower gel. I haven't tried the strawberry one actually, I've tried quite a few of the body shop's um, scent collections. Oh, it smells really nice. Um, but I haven't tried a strawberry one yet, so that's a nice little first day treat. So I'm sitting in a car park in Tesco's, waiting for Darren to go and buy me some Oreos. I'm such a bad girlfriend. Um, getting some really odd looks from people at the moment. I'm finding it really hard to do this whole vlogging in public thing. When you're kind of walking down the street and there's loads of people and you're just looking into a camera and talking to yourself and people are just thinking what are you doing so probably just gonna go home now chill out maybe get a takeaway which is so so naughty I don't know about you but when it gets to autumny time Christmas like winter and it starts getting dark at about four o'clock I just cannot be bothered to cook or to actually attempt to make a decent meal so takeaway it is look what's just arrived yummy Chinese and we also have some naughty treats for afterwards so it's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I've only just started to get ready and get up. I've just had a shower and I've left my hair kind of wet because I'm going to be doing like a hair routine type video in a minute and um, you should be seeing that maybe next week or the week after. Um, so I'm going to film that and then try and get my November favourites filmed. It's already really late coming out but I'm going to try and do that today. So two videos in one day, it's kind of ambitious. The postman just came and completely interrupted my video which was so nice of him. Um, but I ordered this calendar a couple of days ago from Space NK and I've literally just opened this box and the smell already is overwhelming it's so so strong I haven't even opened this one up um, but this is pomander from diptyque and it's I'm not quite sure exactly what the smell is I don't think it says it on there um, but it's very like orangey and spicy kind of Christmassy smell and I wanted um, to get a new Christmas candle so I'll just show you what it looks like it's actually quite a yellow candle so I'm guessing it's got some kind of orange in it because diptyque candles are usually white um, but this is a full size that I got and it's quite big if I show you my little one this is figure I've had this for so so long and it's lasted for ages I still haven't even finished it but this is the size difference between them 
this is just getting ridiculous now. Another person came, interrupted me again. I feel as if this video is doomed to fail already, but I will try and finish it. But I actually got quite an interesting parcel. I saw this company called HelloFresh delivers ingredients to your door, exactly the quantities that you need to cook a meal. And I thought it was kind of interesting and they had a discount code. So I got this for about um, 10 pounds. I thought I'd try it out. Let's open the box up. Happy cooking from the HelloFresh team. I think that's really cute. They've all put their names. Ah, so we have some, <laughs> some potatoes turning into kind of a grocery haul, this. Bit of broccoli in there. Oh, Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure about that. I've never been a fan of Brussels. And something in there. Got a leek. Oh, so this looks pretty simple, pretty easy. I should be able to just about manage this. So we've got winter veg pie with a pre-Christmas surprise. This sounds exciting. Uh, creamy kidney beans and lentils and then courgette and ricotta lasagna with oregano and fresh basil. So I finally finished filming those two videos and I think just everything that could have gone wrong went wrong during that. I got deliveries, people knocking at the door, but yes, I'm finally done and I'm running late because my friend Nicola's actually coming around and we're gonna go out for some dinner. So it's about 10 o'clock in the evening now and I've just woken up from a massive nap. I got back from dinner and I just fell into like a food coma. I was so sleepy and um, Darren's just come back from his Christmas work party. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but he's sitting in the lounge playing Christmas music. So he's obviously in the festive spirit. I think I'm gonna edit my favorites video that I filmed earlier because I really need to go up by tomorrow. So it's gonna be a late one of just sitting at my computer and waiting for it to upload. I don't know if it's my internet connection or if it's just YouTube in general, but my videos, which are never really longer than 10 minutes, take about three or four hours hours to upload so that's just killer I just have to sit there and wait and wait for it look at this Christmas background very festive about 10 o'clock in the morning and I've just finished refilming my November favourites video which ended up being a big unfocused mess when I went to edit it yesterday. My camera just does not like me but um, I just went to grab a train into town and as soon as I walked out the door it started pouring with rain so I've come back inside I'm gonna wait until the next train which is in about 20 minutes and hopefully it will have kind of eased off by then it looks like it's getting a bit better um, but I'm just gonna finish editing my refilmed favorites and then yeah I want to go to Primark and see if they've got any Christmas jumpers still in stock I hope they have but they do tend to sell out mid-December so they may not have any but I'm a big fan of a Christmas jumper and I haven't bought one yet and um, so I really want to get my hands on one <laughs> I just got back from shopping I thought I'd show you quickly what I got. I didn't manage to find any Christmas jumpers in Primark that I really really liked but I saw this one in New York which I thought was so cute it's got little bubbles on and a little Christmas pudding with diamonds and things. I did get a few little primark Christmas bits which I won't show you because they're present for people and I'm sure they'll probably see them on here. 
If you're wondering why this is actually in a Topshop bag, it's because I was crossing the road um, to get to the train station, really busy road, and my Primark bag exploded everywhere and I had to pick up Christmas socks from the road, which was really, really embarrassing. So I got the boots that I wanted in Topshop, which are just these, I think they're called the month boots, they're just really flat Chelsea boots, easy to wear. I do really like a Chelsea boot, uh, but my other ones I have are heels, so I just thought I'd get a flat pair, a little bit easier on my feet, and then... <laughs> This is my naughty, naughty purchase. I don't even want to open this because it's so beautifully packaged. They've just put in a Jo Malone counter in the John Lewis nearest to me. And I've never actually tried anything from Jo Malone before. I don't think I've even smelt any of their fragrances. So I was in there for an hour, just sniffing away. And I ended up getting the Peony and Blush Suede, I think it's called, which is kind of fruity, kind of florally, really, really nice fragrance. And then I also got two little jumpers from Zara. Zara is just on top form at the moment. They, These are just really kind of plain. Plain and simple jumpers. They're quite thin, so they're quite easy to wear. Um, when you layer them, it looks really greased there. Um, but they're only twelve ninety nine, which I think is amazing. So I got a couple of those. We're actually going out for dinner again tonight, even though I went out yesterday. Ooh, I've just started talking in the background there. Um, but it's Darren's cousin's birthday, so we're going to go to the pub, and I should probably start getting ready. But I'm still editing. Sometimes I just find the most ridiculous pause faces when I'm editing my videos. What is that? That is not attractive. We're outside and it's absolutely freezing. We're on the way to the pub now. It's so cold. Are you cold? Yeah. It's cold, let's go inside. Thursday today and I think we're gonna go and redecorate my grandma's old house. I might meet my mum um, in a little bit and we might go grab some lunch and do that but I'm pretty much gonna be painting all day today. So this week's video has just gone live on my channel which is my November favourites and this will have already come out once you're watching this video which is a bit confusing but I will link it below if you haven't already seen it. Really, really late now and I feel like I haven't really done much today or filmed any of it so I'm sorry about that. We just had quite a nice dinner and Darren's gone to bed and I'm probably just going to go to bed now too. I have a few of Logmas videos to catch up on though on YouTube. I'm addicted to them at the moment. They make me feel so Christmassy. Um, yeah, so it's been a pretty unexciting day today. I really don't want to get up today. Time to open day six of my advent calendar. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. Mango Body Whip. Sounds nice. I bet this smells amazing. Mmm, fruity. My mum actually bought me around this calendar yesterday, which was really sweet of her. So I now have two advent calendars. And this is so cute. Hello Kitty. So I've got lots of catching up to do. Lots of chocolates for me for breakfast. When I was younger, I wasn't actually allowed to have chocolate calendars because I would just take the whole tray out from the top and sit there and eat all the chocolates, which was really naughty of me. I'm going to quickly show you what I'm wearing. So this coat has been a pretty much standard outfit staple for the last week since I bought it. So this is just a big kind of tweed boyfriend style coat from River Island. And then I've got 
this kind of like check, it's almost like a t-shirt material, um, well it is a t-shirt, from Glamorous, and then my Topshop Journey jeans, and my new Topshop, I think they're called the Month Boots, and then my Whistles Rivington chain pouch, which I have just been wearing non-stop since I got it as well. to go and see the new Hunger Games which is called Catching Fire. Yeah. We've seen the first one which is a good film but it's not a very nice subject. Do you think the second one will be good? Yeah, probably. Probably. So. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully we brave the cold for something good. Can't eat sour skittles. Big decision. I say button. Oh, they're quite nice. Pebbles. We just got the cinema. It was quite good actually. It was quite emotional, I'm not gonna lie. I may have tried a few times. But um, it was really close to the book. That's what I found. I've read them. I don't think you haven't read them, have you? No. What did you think as someone who hasn't read the books? So the was a bit. He got really on. surprised by the ending. I won't give any spoilers away, but the ending's quite abrupt. And uh, yeah, Darren didn't see it coming. I did, of course, because I've read them. But it's a good film. It's good. We're on our way to go and get some food shopping. It's about seven o'clock now, and we haven't even started this vlog today, which is really, really bad. I may have made a naughty purchase. So we're on day seven already of my advent calendar. I can't quite believe that. And I keep forgetting to open it until really late at night. And I didn't show you the last couple of bits, but there was, I think, a musk kind of body lotion, a little lip gloss. And then there was this sort of like, um, I think it was a heart-shaped soap, which is really cute and it smelled like ginger. So that's a few of the other bits that I've got. I might do a little roundup of this once I've opened them all. Um, so number seven. Let's see what this is. So it's another lip balm. I think it's a little bit different to the one that I got a few days ago. This is their slightly more moisturising range, I'm guessing, um, but this is a honey flavoured one. So I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog, and I know it's a little bit different from what I usually do, but there will still be beauty videos every week. I've got one coming up on Wednesday, and then the next Vlogmas will be on Sunday, and it'll kind of go like that for the next couple of weeks. So that is the end of Vlogmas part one, and I've just got a few little clips to edit together and then I've got to upload this clip and then upload the whole video and then it's off to bed for me. I've got work really early in the morning so I've had a really fun exciting weekend all together. So good night guys and I will see you all soon. <laughs>